Hey guys, hey, it's me, Jimmy Lou, from the Messy Craft Corner. Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody today? Today, today, today. Oh my goodness, you guys. <clears throat> I got to go to the doctor with Alara today, and she has her first little cold. My goodness. <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. I got something to show you guys. I knew something fell in here yesterday. My finger on it and I just found what it was let's put that where it goes before Jimmy Lou sprains an ankle okay <clears throat> we're gonna work on another design team project for um Merry Monday you guys Merry Monday ho 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 it's Merry Monday uh oh I hope I can get comments here there we go hello Jeanette Darla, Rita, Patty, Diana, Denise, Becky, Smith. Hello, hello. Okay, you guys. Um, there we go. Okay, so I want to tell you, some of you were looking for whale tail punches, okay? And Donna, who designs these papers, also sells, guess what? whale tail punches guys she sent me some and these are just amazing i did have a good day except for you know we had to take the baby to the doctor but otherwise it was a pretty good day so um look at you guys these are in like christmas kind of christmasy color type things but it is the whale tails so if you're looking to buy some that are already punched i know she has blue ones too over on her page these are great. I even have this paper pad, I believe. So um, we can even use some of these in this project today if we wanted to. Hey, guys, she sent me the cutest little look at Christmas trees that I think we're going to use on the cover of this project. So that being said, we can jump right into it. Um, or I can show you. I said I had some lace options for you guys. Um, I did make a stop at Hobby Lobby today and... Um, I do have some lace options that we can do. So I double-sided printed. This is um, her Christmas sweet, her sweet Christmas set, you guys. And um, I double-sided printed on cardstock for the cover. This is going to have a cardstock cover. So we can either have the little girl with the flowers and the angel wings on the front cover. Or we can do this Remember Me Christmas present thing on this is what I want to do <laughs> I just decided right there so we're just gonna fold that right in half you guys I'm gonna make a simple signature this is kind of a quick last minute oh my goodness I forgot to buy my Aunt Bessie something and I really wanted to bring her something that she can have and hold and, and make and or see what I made and all of that so um you agree with what Miss Karen so um I double-sided printed the pages then also. Okay, so we've got, this one is the same as the cover, so I don't want to use that as the first, as soon as you go inside. Not really keen about the puppy dog, so I guess we'll go, we could go with this one. As soon as you open it up, you'll see these little kids with the little checkbook ledger type thing so this is going to be kind of a little tight fitting because it's going to be just bound up like this and then we're going to trim off the excess out here or we can add some lace yeah that has the cover yeah i think so too i think it's very pretty and then this we can put a pocket on or um you know whatever we like so uh i have that one we have this one and I like her use of collage in these books because I think they can just be a lot of fun, the collage pieces. So we got Santa is walking on the moon. See, y'all thought that Neil Armstrong was the first one on the moon. Well, I'm saying I think it was Santa. I think he was up there <laughs> before all of them. I'm just kidding. So we have... Uh, five four four five we have five all together we have five all together um i'm not usually very keen on um sideways things but i'm making an exception 
in this journal. And then um, I did double print this. So that way we could have it in here and it would still all be one. That means I have to put that. Ooh, you guys. Can't put that one as first. Well, we'll just do this one first. And we're going to do this. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to fold this in. Okay. Just like so. And then we're going to tuck this part right here inside of here so that way when you open this up you see the full ledger page and then when you have it back here again you're seeing the full ledger page which I kind of like so then we've got this one here all right let's take a look at it so we've got one two three four and five the cover, because we're just doing a basic cover, I'm not doing anything fancy, no no fancy nothings today, you guys. You get plain Jane. Um, I'm just showing you how to use her printable kit in a way that you can just make a very quick kind of last minute Christmas gift, okay? So that way someone can, you can add some of your own pictures, you can make pockets, you can do all of the things. Then I have this Santa piece here. And he's kind of fun, but I was trying to decide. I think I'm going to make it as kind of a fold out, you know, because, well, we can trim it down and we'll, we're going to figure that out then. Okay. We've got these that she sent to me that we're going to put on the cover. Like so. And we need to stitch this in. Um, Shauna, the only thing you can do with printables is you can message the designers. Sometimes the designers will print for a fee and mail them to you. Now, I believe if you message Cynthia at Guided Creations that she will do that. But we're working with Twisted Paper Studio today. So look at these cut apart, you guys. These ephemera pieces you got these really cool kind of stained glass windows all of these would work with the collection that we did the other um piece in the book that shauna dixon just bought um from the design team oh i had to i had that printed out already i had that guy okay look at we got santa over the moon so you can um fussy cut i'll be fussy cutting these and we'll be adding these kind of later on. And then I had printed this a second time to make some pockets out of it. Okay, so let's sit this to the side. That's out of my way. Okay, here we go. We, oh, yikes. So, um, we want to maybe add, we can add one of these. can add one of these you guys we can do it we can do a smaller one too to just kind of add some things to kind of break them up so look if I put this here that's gonna break that up right I don't want to break that up I like that so we got this one here that we can do let's do a rectangle one this time Yep, you can go to Staples, Office Max, um, Office Depot, any office place will print for you. You can also go to your local library. They typically will print stuff for you also. Okay. And we're going to take this and we're going to scooch it. We're going to scooch it down a bit because I haven't decided if I want that to kind of be a little pocket tuck spot thing, but... Okay, so here's my little book then. I told you, we're going kind of basic. I'm showing you easy peasy. So we've got, the cover is one page. It's just printed on 65 pound weight cardstock, okay? Then we've got the doily. One, so that's two, here's three, here's four, here's five, six, seven. Oh, we gotta have, hold on. Jimmy, who can't do uneven? <laughs> uneven bothers me. Hey, Q, 
Kimmet from my corner. How are you? How is Kim? Okay. Are you fixing? What's for dinner? You guys, if you want to get like some yummy, delicious cooking um, helps. Kim at From My Corner was a food blogger for a long, long time. And you guys, she's amazingly talented um, crafter, artist, cook. Go check her out, okay? Hey, Miss Robin, we're doing an easy journal today. It's just printed on cardstock, and then these pages are printed on, um, do, 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 do. yeah, the other stuff. Just copy paper, and now we're just adding in some things to create this journal page, okay? So just like so. Now, I know that's sticking up and above, and that's okay. All right. Tuck this in just like so. Tap, 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 and all the things. And then, um, let's see. Do I have my blade? I think I had this problem before. I think I was looking for my my sharp blade. Is it's not here? I don't know what happened to it, you guys. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to have to get another one, I guess, because this is not the first time that I've lost one of these. <laughs> if you're watching over on YouTube, welcome. We're glad that you're here. Say hello and all the things. I may have just misplaced that. Well, we do need that. Hmm. Okay, well... You can rip it, rip it if you want to. You can ink it, ink it. You can take a scissor. We probably could use this, but the way this thing's been acting, I am just so nervous to do it. Hmm. Well, we're going to let the edges hang out because we're going to put some lace on the edge anyways. Okay. Tap that all nice and tight wherever you want it to go and then get you a all oh boy stuff's gonna fall i'm sure and we're going right through the center you guys right out through the spine we're going out through the bottom down here um this is a different kit it's got a lot of similarities in it as the first kit that i used from her for the merry monday project ow hey larry yeah. i need a band-aid <laughs> No, I just lanced myself. Hello. I did that the other day on a different finger right here. So now I have a matched pair, you guys. And we're, I'm telling you, you guys think, will you check your PayPal? For what, Dorinda? You got to tell me what I'm looking for. That smarted. That smart. You guys, the other day, were saying, oh, didn't you ever job yourself? Guess what? Yes. I do it pretty often. <laughs> oh, good gracious. You paid me for what, girly? You can message me. Send me a private message so it doesn't have to be all in the public here. He's taking his good sweet time getting me a band-aid. <laughs> I'm bleeding here. Oh, you're opening it for me too. I only get there so fast. Don't trip on my new stuff I just bought. I see it. Got it? Yep, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, babe. He's my official Band-Aid grabber. <laughs> Raquel says, hi, Dad. Raquel. Oh, hi, Raquel. You're cleaning off your desk so you can get to all these things. Yes, I know. There's so many things to get to, isn't there? So, you guys, I was we, who was asking me about whale tail punches? Um, because the Twisted Paper Studio does sell them. You can go over there and get you some. And we're going to use some of these in this. What? 
I don't know if she heard you, but I can tell her that you said hi. Dad said hi, Raquel. Okay, so these are just an easy print. <laughs> yes. Um, Kim it from my corner did it more than once. Um, I think the worst I ever saw Kim do it was when she was walking. And it was just, it was a great video. We were all outside. She was strolling through the park one day. And this darn gopher hole just got her, man. And down she went. I don't, did you break it that time? Or was it just a very bad ouchie? <laughs> so I have got my strings on each side of this long piece. Just like when we sew a signature into a regular book. So Wendy, the Twisted Paper Studio on Etsy go over there. She sells whale tails. Now I think, I don't know. I only saw them in Christmas colors. Okay. That's the only colors that I saw them in. Is that in the center? Did I want that in the center? I guess maybe I did. Um, but here's some of the ones that I got. Check these out. So I know she had blue ones and she had these ones. So, uh, you could always, yeah, she broke her leg on a live. Yes, she did. Listen, if you're going to do it, do it right, right? If you're going to fall on a live, that darn gopher hole just reached right out and grabbed her, you guys. Crossing is such a dangerous thing. It's, it's very dangerous. Never craft and walk. That is the important message here. So, you guys, look at these pretty whale tails. I am, I am in love. I have been hunting for a whale, an actual punch for quite a while, but you can put them wherever you like. So we are going to use some somewhere in this book. I just haven't decided where I'm doing it. So Ruth Lindsay, hello. Okay. So my piece is all stitched in, right? And I'm going to decide later if I'm putting some charms hanging off of it or if I'm going to tie it. So for the time being, we're going to just put this to the side. I think she deleted that video. So don't go in and try and find the broken leg video over at from my corner. I think that video has long been gone. <laughs> um, but you know, the important thing was when that happened to her, the, she had crafting sisters who were like, Oh, let us help. Oh, how can we be helpful? And I know she had a lot of encouragement because it would be easy to just give up at that point and just say, forget it. I broke my leg. I'm never going back. And, um, she keeps on going, you guys. But if you want to do some cooking and get some really good cooking, she does really good at, in the kitchen. And, um, I gotta listen again with this glue, with the, the tip of them. I don't know. They just keep getting all weird. Okay. So we're going to use fabric tack anyways. I don't know what I'm worried about. I want to put these two Christmas trees that came in my stuff from her on the front here because I think they would be really really cute um she also sent me this really cute penguin but um, he doesn't really match so he's just gonna live over here for a little while until we decide what to do with him but I want to cover up my spine right so I know like some of us have access to uh, vintage laces and fabrics and things like that and some of us don't I mean that's it's just a fact that there is Hobby Lobby had a sale today on ribbons and trims. Okay, so I wanted to show you some options. Okay, who wants to see some options? And I want to talk about a couple of things dangle charm wise. Okay, hang on a second. I want to. Pull out here what I'm looking for. Okay, I think that's it. I think so. Okay. Whew. I did get some blue flowers, you guys, for my blue journal. Uh, Twisted Paper Studio is 50% off, so that's the time to buy flowers if you're going to get some. All right, so if you want to do lace around the edge like I'm about to do lace around the edge and I'm going to put these on there um first of all check your clearance department okay because you can get some cool things in clearance look at this 
<laughs> it is a trim. This is not going on this book. But look at this trim. Doesn't it just scream I just want to? So, um... I'm not sure what you're saying, but that's okay. Here's some white. I think it's the same thing, but in white. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, definitely can do something and then over the top. But uh, this is just going into the bin. It's going there until we decide we're going to use it, right? So that's one option. Always check your bin, okay? Next thing is, is... Um, always check for sales. So these were all 40% um, off, you guys. And I have flat spools that I use, and I take them off of these because this just takes up too much space. Isn't this pretty? So if you want to add something like this kind of trim work to the edge of your book, maybe not wrap it around so much, but you can add something like this, even if you want to add along the edge out here, right? There we go. Hi from work. Hi, Bev. Thank you so much for my happy mail. I love it, but you're in trouble, girl. <laughs> you're in trouble, trouble, trouble. Um, okay, so then I picked this up. I'm going to show you all of these trims because I'm going to put them onto spools anyways. So look at this one. You could weave some fabric down through there, but I think this would make a very nice kind of skinny trim along the edge like so if you just wanted to go with something skinny okay so again 40% off look at this one this was actually the first one I got because I thought I'm going to use that today and then I decided I'm not going to use this but this is nice and fat you guys so if you're looking for stuff that are pockets you don't want to wait for them to cut your fabric this is a nice this is three inches wide three and a half inches three and a half inches really Ooh, three and a half inches this is so again a really pretty fabric trim okay here's another one and I think this one I'm going to use along the edge of the front of the book here so I think we're going to do this just like so so that way those little flowers just sort of hang off the edge and we can do all the things, right? Now, I just need something to go around the spine, which I'm leaning towards this one. Um, it'll be skinny, but we don't need a lot, right? We're just, we're enhancing what we got. We got pretties, we're enhancing. Okay. Um, if you want to, you can color. I was going to show you this. Um, so this is just green. This is Tim Holtz Distressed Ink. Not oxide. If you use oxide, you have to be really careful getting it wet, right? So this is a distressing ink. You can take this and just... You can ink it, ink it, you guys, and then look it. It'll take some of that white away. So that's one possibility that we can do here. I'd like to hear what you guys think. And then I picked this up because I don't know why. I was, I, my mind was on, my mind is always ahead a little bit, but my mind was on the tea party that we're having for the memory decks event. And then that means the design team is going to get handed, um, a new play set for, um, uh, da -da -da, guided creations. Right. And I thought this would be really, really pretty for a book, um, for the tea party. Okay, so speaking of Tea Party, Tea Party Ballet. Those are the two books that I'm thinking about right now. Um, I found this little charm at Hobby Lobby, 50% off. So um, it's Ballerina Bling. She's got a little bling in her skirt, right? And then, okay, now none of you other people who craft with me in the Memory Dex event do this because if you do, I'm going to say, I'm going to come on your live and I'm going to say, you saw this over here first. Look at this cute. EB pointed this out to me. There's little macaroons with a little teacup. Isn't that cute? Right? And then look at this little tea set. So I'll be getting to play with the tea. 
uh, set that she's doing as a journal first because I kind of was like, I gotta have this. So all the things, right? And I'm just teasing about coming on your live. I'm not coming on anybody's live to sell them out. Okay, so tell me, would you guys like to see... Uh, that was folded. We're going to take this and we're going to use this as trim along the edge here. We're going to trim this. We're going to deck this out over here like so. Let's see, going right between there. So tell me, do you want to see me dye up, dye this up? Not dye it, but color it up. Um, green. Should we do green on this? Wherever I put it, I had a piece of it. Here's what it will look like. Green that spine trim up. That's what I'm thinking. You want me to green it up? We'll green it up, you guys. <laughs> All right. So let's just... I'm going to trim off a little bit more than I know I need. So that way we can. So you can always use inks and stuff for this process. Always. Always, always. Right? And it really sometimes will depend also how much um, you want to put into it, how much work. So let me just grab, this is a scrap piece of chipboard here. And we're just going to take this and there is a right and wrong side to this. And we're just going to, we're going to green it up. <laughs> um, I have some ribbon, but I got to tell you, I, I'm not too pleased with the ribbon that I have for Christmas this year and I keep purchasing some and then I'm just not happy with it either so um you guys I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know um here's what I have Christmas wise look at this so I pulled this out thinking something on this would work. But I got to tell you, I'm not in love with any of this stuff. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I like it. But for this project. It would be very pretty if I did. If I wove some stuff through there. Any of that stick out to any of you? So just ink it up, okay? Now, if you use distressed oxide to do this, you guys, um, and you get it wet, you shouldn't get your books wet anyways. It's definitely going to... Oh, yeah! We can do... Can we use steam binding? Why? I think we can. Thanks for reminding me I have it. <laughs> yeah, nothing there... I even pulled it out for this and nothing sort of stood out to me for it. So um, let's do some of the seam binding like was just suggested. So I do have some um, seam binding left from the sale the other day, you guys. So if you have uh, seam binding needs, come to Jimmy Lou. <laughs> Jimmy Lou and Larry. Um, for seam binding. I'll sell it. Larry will ship it. Yeah, I don't know. Who would have thought of seam binding? I wasn't thinking about seam binding. If I can step across it, I can ship it to you. Larry said if he can step across it, he can ship it to you. <laughs> the color of this ink was um, Rustic Wilderness. Hi, Cynthia. Cynthia, I just showed my little tea set that I'm going to put on the, the dangle on the book that I'm going to make with the set you haven't even started working on yet. <laughs> I know she hasn't started working on it yet. Well, she might have. So we're having a tea party in January for the um, Memory Decks event. If you didn't hear that announcement, Dina always gets to, well, whoever the last crafter is in the event gets to make that announcement. It's usually is Dina. Um, and if you missed that, she announced that the, uh, events for 
January is going to be a tea party. So it's very close to Cynthia's birthday and it's very close to her um, Paige's birthday as well. Okay, so that does kind of work, okay? It's going to flop and do all the things until we get it glued down. But I say we let it hang, hang off. I say we just let it all hang off, you guys. All right, we have to trim off a little bit, though. We have to trim this a bit. Okay. And then we got to trim this off a bit down here. okay so we're going to glue this onto the front and then i'm going to wrap it around i'm going to glue it to the back where i'm not gluing it is onto the spine itself okay and then we're going to put these on the front this was not part of the printables for this uh kit and I, i'm now that i'm doing it maybe i'm not going that direction And then again, maybe I am. You guys are going to have to tell me. What do you think? Remember me, Christmas present. Yes, it's her anniversary for her page, for her Etsy store. Okay, but these printables are from Donna at the Twisted Paper Studio. If you're coming on on a Monday, it's Merry Monday around here, you guys. And Donna... Um, chose me to be on her design team it was a project i really wanted to be a part of um as soon as i seen the announcement for it and um she did not even hesitate to say uh no thank you she was like yeah absolutely <laughs> so um i love all of the things that we're working with here all right so we're going to pull this around we're going to glue this down and i'm going to let that seam binding just kind of have a little bit of a gap. You want it to have a little bit of room um, to wiggle, okay? Because all the things. Um, if you're if you pull it too tight, um, if you pull it too tight, what's going to happen is you're going to have trouble opening and closing. All right, so we're just going to press that down. And then um, I'm just going to probably tack that right up here at the top so that, well, I guess we just let it do what it's thing. Let's just let it, let it live and do what it wants to. Okay. So what do you, Twisted Paper Studio. Let me show you. These are the printables from her Etsy store, Twisted Paper Studio. And that is where I also got some of this. Some of those. So I haven't done any of the fussy cutting. And I didn't, after asking Larry to do so many things today, I didn't have the heart to say, hey, can you cut this out for me? So um, I'm just debating, do I want to add the trees or not add the trees? What do you guys think? We can let them go too for now. Okay, so here's what we got on the inside. All right. Um, you can add, oh, we're going to take some of this trim and we're going to add some of this trim along. Wait, I already cut this. We're going to add some of this trim along the edge here. Okay. We're going to do it on the front and on the back just to give it a little extra. No trees, no trees, no trees. Okay. No trees it is. Hang on. All right, here we go. A line of glue down the edge there. All right. We're just going to press that on there. And then that's just giving us that little bit of decorative edge along what, where we need. Okay, so I got to tell you, I really, really think I want to do a belly band here. Okay. And I'm debating using this as my belly band. Or we can use paper. Or we can use...
we can also use some of this stuff that we just used on the cover and we can ink it as well just like we did on the cover so we can go right along the edge like this so uh paper a which is the small stuff or b which is the wider stuff and then we will be making a pocket on the back cover but i want a nice deep pocket and i think we're going to put a well i say a nice deep pocket but maybe we're just going to put well i think we can still do a deep pocket You want B inked. That's this one, what we did on the front cover. So you want me to carry over what I did on the front cover to the back cover. Well, aren't you all just amazing? How about that? Oh, you want to see it inked a warm brown. Ooh, I don't, we can try it. Do we dare try it? Hang on a second. I have a little piece here we can try it on and see what it looks like she's asking for it done in brown let's see what do i got here that's these are blues Ooh, i don't know if i have any brown anywhere i can grab really quick that's old paper well we have mocha this is an exclusive ink from close to my heart. You can purchase these from me. Oops. And um, they actually work very nicely as well um, for this type of thing. So are you guys being agreeable to this being done in brown? Can you guys picture that done in brown? I I have to agree with her. I think I think it would look very nice in brown. Um, all right, so let's cut this off. Okay. Put this to the side. Don't worry, we'll put some. We'll feed some stuff through it. Actually, this is going to be plenty enough to feed through there. It is a little more vintage. You're correct. So this color is just mocha, and it's comparable to Tim Holtz's vintage photo. So it definitely will just yank the white off of something. And you can make it as light or as dark as you want it to be just by continuing to go over it and over it. It definitely gives us that vintage vibe, huh? Cream or light green. Okay, let's see. I've got brown, I've got this green. I got a little bit of this green left. Let me see what is out there. Yeah, I say we do this one. This is good. Okay. Do do do. Do, 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 do. Whoops, my book is trying to fall on the floor, you guys. <clears throat> so I got to tell you, when I laid this on the table next to that um, chenille, that red chenille fabric, this printable kit looks kind of amazing um, with that um, burgundy chenille that I have. So if you guys want some of that, I do still have some. All right, here we go. Um, you just have to let me know. It's $15 plus it'd be roughly about $3 shipping. You guys, Bev over at, um, at Bev's page, Creating with Love and Whimsy. You guys, she has Telegram now. You can sign up for her Telegram. Let's see if she remembers to send out Telegrams because... 
I sometimes forget. I did remember today, though. I'm very proud of myself. All right, so here's this. All right. Whew. All right, so there's our piece there. Oh, I really like that. I think that's going to look very pretty up against the inside cover. All right, so this is going to be a two-week project, meaning next week we'll, we'll be finishing up with this project. Oh, look at how pretty that's going to look on there. Yes! I love it. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to do a few things more to this book today. And then next Monday, um, we'll finish it up if, if I can wait. I may not be able to wait. I'm just putting that out there. I might have to, whoops, hold on. It's sticking to my finger. I sometimes have a hard time waiting to finish projects this close to Christmas because if I sell it, I want it to be able to go to somebody in time for Christmas. Okay, so there we go. That's all glued down. Doesn't that look pretty? And then we have this doily. We have this and this. So I'm going to use some of these printables like this piece here, you know, to make some kind of tuck side things and then we'll tuck some things in it okay so um i don't have any of this stuff cut out but um um doo -doo -doo, you know what i think we might could do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this out we're gonna cut out this green one right here you're loving this book yeah and i'll tell you what if you have the printables, you guys, you can um, you can make these really quickly for Christmas. And, um, you know, there's always those people you forget. Co-workers, bosses, um, teachers. There, there's people you do tend to forget. So I think one of the nice things about the Twisted Paper Studios pieces like this um is so it all goes together printables all seem to go together don't they all right we're gonna take this i'm i'm a little nervous about not kind of scoring this so i'm gonna go whoops hang on there's glue on this that happens sometimes <laughs> sometimes glue gets stuck on things so we're gonna just score this and i'm gonna fold this up yeah that'll work and then we're going to just go ahead and score it again, like so. And then we just have this little kind of piece, you know, that you can open up and you can journal on the inside. So I think what we do here is we take a little bitty of this red. Okay. And a little bitty of this green. Oops, I definitely missed on that one. And we get us a paper clip. I thought I had some small ones in here. I don't think I do. I think they're all in the other room. So we're just going to go with it on a, um, on a regular size clip. Okay, and we're just going to tie this on here. Just going to tie it in a knot. Okay, we're going to tie the green on there also in a knot. I mean the red. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Lowe, sure you are. Okay, like so. I'm going to take this one. And we're going to tie this one on here too, you guys. I don't have any more of the red and green, um, you know, where it's two and a half yards and two and a half yards of the red and green. Uh, but if you guys, if anyone wants any, tell me in the comments, should I dye more or should I let it go? Because I can dye more. It just has to be in a bit. Um, I have to get more seam binding is coming. Um, so then I can just take this and I can just clip this closed, right? And then this can just slip inside our belly band. And you can put whatever else in there that you want. 
Okay, so I said about using this Santa piece as a flip out. So I think what I want to do is we're going to cut this edge off here. Okay. I'm going to leave a little bit of the white because there's white at the top and the bottom. So we're going to leave a little bit of the white. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to, I'm going to cut this back to one and a half or to three quarters of an inch from the edge, sorry. And then I'm just gonna give this a light score along there, and we're gonna fold this. I did a very light score, you guys, so badly that it didn't want to do the things. Okay, so here's this. I'm leaving the back side alone because then you can write on it, okay? And we're just gonna take this and we're going to fold this in like so. I think that'll be plenty enough. Let's see. Yep, that's going to be plenty enough, you guys. So we're going to have this Santa along the edge here. And then when we flip this open, we're going to have a little tuck spot right there. And then the white is going to be left that you can write, okay? If you want, you can always leave this as a fold out and uh, have that happen in too. So... Oh, I quit on these darn glue bottles today. Uh, Karen Whitworth, I dye it. So if you want it, you can order it from me. And I can do pretty much any color. They're $8 for five yards, unless you're buying the double colors. Um, I don't think Larry's out there, or I would call for him to, to bring me the seam bindings that are left from the sale, in case anyone still wanted some. Hey, Larry! Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Um, on the table is that box that I have with the seam binding in it that I keep it in for the sale. Yes. That's the leftover stuff. Can you bring that? Some of the ladies are asking about seam binding. Okay, so there we go. Now we got that little tuck spot. And I think I'm going to switch over to this one, you guys, because... I don't know, that one yesterday was giving me a lot of trouble. This one today looks like it's going to, looks like a bunch of troublemakers around here, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I'll show you the colors I have, and if you want some, uh, but you'll have to wait till I get some paper. <laughs> I got lots of paper in this room, you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, look at, this is, forget it. <laughs> I'm just going to go with this for right now. So I'm just going to put a little glue here. And I'm going to figure out why my glue is not coming out of that. That's going to be a project for Jimmy Lee to figure out. And we're just going to tuck this right along the edge here. Okay. Just like a so. And now we just have a little paper flip out to do, and then we've got this little tuck spot. We'll hide something under there. And then I thought I could use, look at this, you guys, somebody sent this to me. It's reindeer. I thought we could maybe use this. I don't know. It's not wanting to seem to kind of do its thing, but I thought we could put this along there, but I don't think I want to now. <laughs> You know, you think one thing and you do something else. We'll figure it out. I have some um, really pretty, uh, I have to find it. Um, I have some really pretty uh, tape that we can add along there. You broke your ankle, girl. I'm telling you, it is the, it is the season of broken legs, you guys, and broken things. Oh, yeah, girly absolutely we'll keep you in our prayers i'm gonna put this whale tail punch right along here down at the bottom can you see that so that way it's going to make it that it opens it's not going to affect whatever i put want to put on the inside there um so it's just going to look really nice absolutely we will keep you in our prayers and good thoughts and all of that 
You didn't need that right before Christmas, did ya? All right, so right here, and I'm going at the bottom because you don't have to do it right at the top, but I do want to make sure that I have it down enough so that it's not, uh oh, hang on, too much glue, so that it's not, um, oh gosh, Jimmy Lou, how much glue did you need to put on there? Oh, you're going to see a surgeon on Wednesday. Okay. Keep us posted. Okay. All right. So there we have that. And then it just gives us a little something and stuff will still fit in and out of there. Okay. So any of those whale tails, you can put them anywhere. Okay. Now this is two pages that I copied two of them and then I put them back to back. So that way they sort of all work together. I love her use here of this stuff. It's very pretty. Okay. If you want one of these seam bindings, they are $8. Um, actually, you know what? They're going to be $10 because I'm going to charge you $2 shipping for each one. Um, unless you, you know, if you get like six of them, it ain't going to be $12 shipping. Okay. So just know that I have to charge shipping. Okay. So I have blue. I have dark blue. I have two. So if you want a dark blue, just say, can I have a dark blue, please? <laughs> I want to see a picture of it. So dark blue, I have two. Pink, I have one. Isn't this pretty? You guys, Bev's at work. It's okay. You can get some of it. Here's some of the green. This is the exact green that I used in here. These are $8 plus shipping. I have two green. If you like the red that I used in here, I have three red. Karen Whitworth would like a blue. And we can ship them on Wednesday, you guys. You might still get them by Christmas. Just saying. Um, I have peacock, you guys. I have three peacock. I've got one. I've got two coffee dyed left. Oh, I gotta put these back in here, you guys. Whoops, this one's mine. <laughs> Red, I have three. Yeah. Okay. Phew. Scared myself there for a minute. Get you some red and green now, you guys. This is the time to grab it. Okay. Um, I have this lilac. I have four. I got one gray. That's this color. And I have two, um, what color is this? It's a, it's a light blue. Okay. And then I've got five, I got five of these cause I dyed them for the next one. Okay. Karen Whitworth would like a lilac. Anybody else? All you have to do is comment. And then we're going to go back to work. <laughs> and I got five yellow. Okay. That one's mine. It's easier than putting it in the Shopify sometimes, you guys. All right, so those are all the colors that I have left from the sale. Minus, I had the, guys, I had the yellow dyed for the next sale, but I just told you guys I have it. Okay, so we're just taking a look at what maybe we want to do on these because I'm kind of thinking and processing. I think we're going to add some kind of pocket. I'm going to wait and see. Same way here. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. I want to get those cut aparts cut up because I think quite possibly some of them will fit into where, wherever we have um, this part, you know. So these are really pretty. Really, really pretty. Look at this. A bright and happy Christmas. How pretty. This I did for pockets. All right. Okay, you guys. 
All right, so then we get to the center here. Again, I'm gonna do a nice pocket here and we're gonna do some other fun stuff. All right, so coming to the back cover back here. I thought that too. I thought that too, do you think so? The edge, like along the edge out here edge. Listen, it's kind of bent up some. It doesn't, we don't have to do it on all of the page. We can just do it on, you know, on one of the page. And we don't have to do it the whole length. We can just do Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and we can't forget Rudolph. So we can cut that much off of here. Oops. Do you guys like how I did that? <laughs> Tell me if you liked how I did that, because I liked how I did that. <clears throat> and I think it will look really good right here by this Santa, right? So let's just put it there. We don't we need nine reindeer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, exactly. I like the gold too. I think it's gonna add a little bit of kind of regalness to the book. And we are gonna add some uh lace along the back edge too. Look at that. Santa's all happy over here. Okay. So on the back page back here, that's what that's going to look like sticking out of the edge of the book. How cute. Oh, across at the top. We could have done some across at the top. Across at the top. We can put some across the top as well. Almost like, now where did I put it? <laughs> <laughs> almost like he's flying here and then he's flying there. Um, we can totally do that. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Like I said, it did get a little crinkled up, but that's okay. So we can do some along there and then along the side. Uh, somebody asked me, don't I have other stuff of this? I forget who sent this to me. One of you sent this stuff to me and here's the rest of what the edges were so we could use this too. look it we've got some snowflake snowflakes on my window make me happy not really I woke up this morning Larry said it snowed and I was like stop it and he's like no really it snowed I didn't believe him there at first so <laughs> okay let's do some snowflakes along the edge here I don't know if this green is going to kind of go because it is kind of more bright than that. So let's take a look at if I take my, my sh sh brush. Sometimes if you take your sh sh brush and you go over it, it'll soften it some, but that's not going to happen with this. That would have been nice. We can definitely do some trees along the top edge. I think that would definitely look really good I don't know where this stuff came from someone sent it to me in happy mail if it was you thank you um okay so we got the snowflakes along the edge there I like this this is a cool idea this flips out so we could put some along the edge here just like this you guys Maybe I want to put it over here. It's it's nice either side. It doesn't matter. You cracked your windshield? Yowcha. I don't think I'm going to use the gingerbread men. Although I do think I saw a gingerbread house in here. Ooh, guys, all this glue. Don't you get stuck on my finger. Oh, I like that. That looks cute. I thought there was a gingerbread house, and there might still be. Let's 
Make sure to be careful you're not gluing your pages together because that can happen. But I think that looks really pretty as part of it, right? So we can even put, like you guys said about this, there's the gingerbread house. Look, what if we put the gingerbread men along where the gingerbread house is? We could save this though. And we could make this. I'm going to save this. I'm not going to use that. If we do decide to use it, I'm going to come back and use it. Okay. So let's take this. We got some reindeer happening. Hang on a second. We only need nine. He's a half a reindeer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I don't use transfer designs. I don't particularly care for them very much. That's a me thing. So, you know, and I was worried about like these trees not matching. But we can totally still add these into this book, you guys. We're going to do it. What's a good Christmas movie? One here. I don't think these are stickers. They're not. They're little cardboards. I'm going to put one there. Oh, stuck my finger in the glue, you guys. Listen, Dina's right. You get to a certain point in this glue and it just will drive you batty. Look at it. It's oozing out. <laughs> White Christmas, I know. Evie said she hadn't watched White Christmas this year. And she's uh, going to be here tomorrow. You guys can come hang out with us. We're going to make some cookies tomorrow. We're going to be live at 10 a.m. So I like that you can see. Look at You can see. Do, do, do. Where's those? Here's the snowflakes there. I have some more snowflakes here. Here's some couple snowflakes. And we have some snowflakes at the top. I think I told you we we're going to just do a few more things. And then here we are doing all these. So I think I'm going to hold off on doing this here. Um, I was going to do some along the bottom edge over here. But I want to wait to see um, about doing a pocket there. So we're going to hold off on that. Uh -oh. oh, I knew that was going to happen. All right, so here's this. And oh, God, these, look at, these are just kind of like naturally all doing its thing. Um, I don't know that I'm going to use those, but they might look cute. We've got that reindeer. You know, I think we're going to go back to that. Wherever it was, I saw that. We're going to stick this in there, you guys. It's not a very big book. It's a small book. So we should easily be able to finish it next week. I'm going to stick that in there, you guys. All right. So we were talking about what we want to do on this last page. And I think I want to do a pocket. Now, um, so far we've done... I don't think I want to do a pocket with this, though. I don't think it's going to be big enough. We could do a little tuck spot along the spine there, but I don't think I want to do that either. Let's take a look at this. This is nice three and a half inch, you guys. All right, we need to cut this straight. Just like so.
Okay. And we're going to add this. You know, I think I'm going to leave this one white. I don't think I'm going to do brown. I don't think I'm going to do anything. You guys are going to have to change my mind. Change my mind. This is it. This is the last thing we're going to do today. Oops. So we're going to put this there. Now we can, we can do brown. We can leave it white. I like the white against this too. I think it just looks really pretty. I think if we do brown, it's just going to be, oops, I think it's just going to be too, it's going to be too dark. The green is going to be too much green. I have red, but I'm really reluctant to add red to this. Um, plus we can add a little Santa or something on here too. I have seen the Bishop's wife. I also seen the preacher's wife. Yes to the white. Okay. So we're just going to do a line of glue here. Just like that. Pull this back. And now we're going to go straight along here. So this is all rolled lace that I got at Hobby Lobby. It's not vintage, but it sure looks vintage inspired. Um, I like it. I think it looks very, very pretty. We've got pockets. We've got all the things happening, you guys. I got some other stuff from Hobby Lobby. Uh, for, for You can guys can see it if you want to. Um, I got this beautiful... Look at this. Isn't that pretty? I think that's very pretty. Um, I got some... I got some of this thinking this would go with our blue journal. Possibly. There's my tags. Tags. I got these pearls. Aren't they pretty? Some pearl charms. Those are pins. Some more tags. And then I got these, you guys. And I definitely got this for my blue book. I got these for my blue book, you guys. And then um, it has other stuff on. It has like stars and teardrops and stuff, which I thought went very nicely along with these things. So for a charm, for a dangle, for that book, we're going to do these. And then um, I got this burgundy just because I thought it would match that wine color that I dye uh, seam binding and stuff with. And then um, I got this because it matched this. Just lovely. <laughs> Look how lovely that is, you guys. So um, maybe we might have to make something on here. All right, you guys. So that's going to be it for today. Um, we're going to add something to the cover. I'm not sure what we're going to tuck there, but we have some other things. We might take some of those trees and put them along the side. I'm going to live with this for a little bit and see how I like it. We've got a belly band there. We've got a flip out here with a tuck spot. We have all these trim works. We're going to use this somewhere here. I'm just making sure that nothing is sticking glue wise. Okay. Like right there. It was sticking a little bit. And then we've got the root, the reindeer going along the top. Some snowflakes. I'm keeping those for along over here. There's those reindeer with the Santa. And we've got this we're going to be adding something to. And this. So we will get this done. Oh, I'm going to have a hard time waiting until next week, you guys. I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> so um, you guys are talking about Christmas movies. We're going to be watching a Christmas movie here tonight. Tell me, if you're watching on the replay, tell me what your favorite Christmas movie is, you guys. Because I'm excited to see what um, what you want to say. So, um, I think this book is turning out cute. This is part of my Merry Monday, hashtag Merry Monday uh, design team project for the Twisted Paper Studio. I think while I'm watching my TV program back there, I might have to do some fuzzy cutting. Just saying... 
just do a little bit of fussy, fussy, fussy. Um, I just got a new pair of scissors, and I don't know where I stuck them, you guys. I even opened them and everything. <laughs> it's perfect. Just what you need, Jimmy Lou. Lose your stuff. Well, we'll have to look for it. All right, you guys, have a good night. Here they are. Um, have a really good night. Elf is your favorite. Um, so I'm gonna see you tomorrow, 10 a.m. Uh, Bev tomorrow at Bev's Creating with Love and Whimsy. She's auctioning off four of her journals. Please show up and support her at 9 a.m. Eastern tomorrow morning. Go see what she has. Take a look at it. I can tell you her style and my style are a lot the same. And I think you'll find something that you might like there. And you'll be asking her for more. 9 a.m. Eastern tomorrow morning she's going to be auctioning off. I'm going to be there watching while I'm mixing up some cookie dough. Evie and I are going to be baking with you tomorrow. So come join us. All right. Karen Whitworth, I'm going to send you a message about those two color seam bindings that you wanted in lilac which is a beautiful color, you guys. They are, they're, and they're new. Um, she's getting lilac and she's also getting the blue and navy because that's a very pretty color. So we're going to get her all set up. All right, you guys have a good rest of your night. Yes, she is a pleasure to watch it. And she's a very soft voice. I was, was really struggling to hear her this morning in the car. I was listening in the car on my way to Evie's house. I, was like, I can't hear her. I can't hear her. <laughs> so I will see you all tomorrow. Remember to always be kind, you guys, because you never know what someone's going through. And I'm going to see you all real soon. Okay? Bye, guys.